you guys are having a good time uh, of your life out there. I just want to let you know I'm here doing a podcast in stereo sound. Stereo sound, not mono sounding. Stereo sound, that's in right and left uh, microphones. And did you get Did you get what I'm saying? It's a stereo sound uh, podcast, so be well aware of that. And first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to all my YouTubers out there, a community of uh, YouTubers out there. Uh, it's a community out there. They're trying to uh, do the best that they can on videos and YouTube videos. That's right, YouTube videos. That's where you guys are at. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to all the YouTubers out there that are doing what they need to do, whatever they need to do with their videos, whatever they need to do. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's no here, no there. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the YouTubers. They know who they are. I'm going to give a shout out, and that's what I want to do. I want to put a title saying, a YouTuber shout out out there. For all the YouTubers that are doing YouTube videos for for many reasons, for many reasons at all, uh, via uh, via uh, via satellite, via uh, via Skype, via uh, Zoom function. Uh, so we're all doing YouTube videos night and day. That's night and day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're doing videos galore. Yes, we're doing videos galore. We're putting out the content. We're putting out the content, just like you people like to say, content, right? Content. And that's the way it's going to be. For now on, it's going to be content on this channel. And uh, no, no share. Uh, by the way, by the way, I just want to say to you guys, I'm really happy that all the videos that you guys put out about uh, cop watch. I mean, these are cop watch videos. Uh, try to uh, film the police. Always film the police, no matter what they say to you. Always film the police with your cameras out there. Or go and do the First Amendment auditors. Film the police, and they always tell you, film the police, no matter what they say and what they do. Film the police. Every, every, uh, when the police have interaction with the public, film the police with your cameras. I'm, just remember what I've said, with your cameras. Go film the uh, uh, police people. And remember, it's your First Amendment right to do so. Remember that, it's your First Amendment right to do so, okay? Do photography. Okay, go out there and film the police. Any police reaction is uh, is is vice is very much vice. And uh, just hear me in. Just I'm putting this out as a YouTube channel, and uh, I want to give a, I want to give some uh, subscriber base, viewership, and a lot of a lot of views out there. If I can, that's okay. Oh, my previous video I said about Lisa Lamb. A lot of you people don't know who she is. Well, go check her out. Uh, Lisa Lamb, which you don't know, was at the Cecil Hotel. That was in 2013. She uh, she drowned in the big water tanks up in the Cino Hotel. Uh, this is in the uh, Los Angeles area. Uh, it was a big hotel. Apparently, it had a, a dark past. People said it was a it was a dark past in that hotel. And there was a uh, there was a brief history in the early 80s that I forget the guys' names, but. Uh, there were some old people that used to, uh, there's some people that used to, li used to, uh, well, not really live in the hotel, but actually, uh, went there, and, uh, it had a dark past. In this hotel, it had a dark past. I'm not kidding. Uh, so it had a dark past, and it's uh, early 80s. And go check it out. Uh, the, uh, the woman that used to, went there in 2013, she was, uh, she was a, uh, traveler. She traveled around, and, uh, she was from Canada. And she traveled to um, Los Angeles area, and she went to a hotel, and the hotel name was called Cecil Hotel. You might have heard about that. That's in Los Angeles area. And she drowned, get this, she drowned in those big water tanks. The big water tanks above the, uh, uh, on top of the hotel. These are big hotel buildings. And uh, she drowned in one of those water. People thought the water tasted awful. And that was the real reason they were looking for her. Uh, they had a, a press conference of it. They were looking for this girl named Lisa Lamb. And if you find her, you know what the deal is. Uh, so, yeah, this was back in 2013, mind you. And that was my previous video. Previous video I put out. Um, but I did, I did say on my title is A Ghost of Lisa Lamb, who's haunting the hotel. Uh, Lisa Lamb, uh, yeah. I think that's her, her name, Lisa Lamb, yeah. Uh, apparently around 2013, this is the year 2013, a couple years back, uh, she, she, used to, uh, she used to live in Canada and traveled all the way from the United States to, li to actually uh, take a trip around the world, take a trip around the world. But she landed in this hotel 
And uh, apparently, apparently, she had bi bipolar sir, or some some, some uh, disease that she had. Bipolar sir, I think it's called. Anyway, you guys know what that means. Uh, uh, bipolar. Is this bipolar or something? Anyway, uh, some disease that she had. She was a Chinese descent. She was Chinese descent, mind you. Uh, she was t a Chinese descent, and uh, yeah, so that was on my previous video. I'm not going to mention very much more than that. Uh, that still goes on to this day, but the ghost of her is still haunt the hotel at the moment, at this very moment, in 2021. Uh, uh, there's a ghost of her haunting the, the hotel, I kid you not, folks. Uh, yeah, so bear that in mind, folks. Go out there, do YouTube videos, and get get the content that you want to see out there. Uh, if it's cop watch, if it's cops watching out there, like videotaping the cops or the police, uh, do so. Do so. It's your First Amendment right. Remember that. First Amendment right to do so. Uh, it's these these so-called auditors. The so-called auditors out there. Uh, so bear that in mind, folks. We are going to be out there and out there good. We're going to be in stereo, not mono sounding, but stereo sounding. We're on right and left microphones, and we're going to sound in stereo, just like a CD sound. And uh, one, one, more, one more thing before I go, you guys. Uh, the videos that I've been seeing lately are pretty good. I give a thumbs up on these videos. Uh, the content is very good, very good. Keep it up with the content out there. All you YouTubers out there, keep going with your content out there. I appreciate it, and this, this is my finest moment, my finest moment on YouTube. It may be your finals moment, but it'll be mine. So I'll give you, I'll give you kudos. I'll be out here. If you wanna, if you wanna take a look at my videos, you can anytime. You feel free. These are free videos. You don't have to pay for them. You can watch them anytime you like, uh, and they're all free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't. It's no cover charge or anything like that. Uh, these are free videos to watch, and I want you guys to share and like the videos. By the way, that's what YouTubers always tend to say. So, yeah, go like and subscribe, and uh, hit that like button. They always say hit that like button. Go do that. And, uh, anyway, you can see my videos anytime you like, anytime you like. You people have options. If you want to see my videos, that's an option. If you don't, you don't have to. You know, it's a painstaking for me to say that, right? Yeah, it's an option. You can see my videos. If you don't, you don't have to. So, other than that, I'll see you guys. This is 12 o'clock midnight doing a podcast at this very late hour. And uh, this is a very late hour, indeed. Very much indeed. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're looking for UFO stuff, uh, recently they're uploading UFO files. I kid you not. Back in the day, in 1947, there was a Roswell incident. In 1947, if you can believe it. 1947, there was a Roswell incident. From that time on, People have been seeing these things, so-called UFOs, or craft-like vehicles, in the sky. And they identify these things as, uh, as uh, metallic, metallic look like. So there you go, folks. They're releasing all these files as UFO files. They're not classified anymore. They released them online. That's right, the download line. So there you go, folks. Online, they're going to release all these files, these UFO files. I kid you not. So you don't have to go to Area 51 anymore, folks. No more going to Area 51 anymore. Because they're going to release the files on all UFO files. And uh, if you believe in UFOs, if you believe in so-called aliens, well, this one's for you.